I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and today I'm going to show you how to make a window card uh, even if you haven't got a large die cutting machine it can be done with punches as well but I'm showing you a version to do where you can just use your mini machine so this is my prototype it's not decorated but you get the idea of um, what I'm going to do right so first of all you need um, a piece of a uh, bar, uh, four cardstock I'm using Highland Heather and uh, you're going to cut your piece at uh, your A4 at your short end of your eight and a quarter on top and you're going to cut that down at four and one eighth then you're going to spin it round and you're going to score that at five and seven eighths and just uh, burnish that and that's that part done then you need a piece that is three by ten and a half and you're going to score this at, um, let's see, uh, two and five eighths, then, um, that's that one, uh, that one is, uh, two and five eighths, sorry. No, it won't be two and five eighths. We've got to add that on. Sorry. So it was two and five eighths, and then we're adding on another two and five eighths. So that will become five and a quarter. And our last score we're going to do is at um, check that again. Uh, seven and five eighths, and we're going to fold that. It, like into a concertina so we're just going to I'll move my trim out of the way so we're going to make sure that the edges are marrying up and we're going to fold it down then fold it back on itself making sure that again it's properly aligned and then you'll fold that out have I done that both on those two and so you're making an M shape okay now what we're going to do is we're going to put this through so just leave it folded in half and uh, we want the fold to be facing you so that's your um, shape like that your w and the point is facing you then we're going to put this in your mini and we're going to cut out your window so you want to fold it and get your window die from uh, the welcoming windows now you want to stick it so that it is close to the edge okay so you've got to make sure it's close to the edge and an even distance between the top and the bottom but sticking it close to the edge and making sure that you've got that level so I'm not going to leave this to uh, I'm actually going to stick it down with my tear and tape so just bear with me while I get some tear and tape because I don't really want this to move I want it to work out okay so you could do this with any window die or you could do this with punches um, it's entirely up to you I'm creating a shop window so I really want it um, to have a window on there so i'm going to put that down there because i don't want it to move oh hi valerie hope you're well nice to see you so popping this through and this will be stiff because it's going through two lots of card so it is quite oh dear oh actually it's uh, spinning my plate out as well and it's spinning oh it's not gone and done that has it Oh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, yes, it did. Just a minute, I've got to stick that back in. I thought it was going um, wonky then, so I was not very happy with how it was going. And I think I might have just stuck this too close to the edge, but we will see. So 
I'll try again. Uh, I did it, the, my prototype, with thinner card. So I'm hoping this will work out uh, with the two lots of um, card going through. So let me try that again. Uh, perhaps I'll, uh, I'll do it the opposite way and get it through first. So let me just pop that back there. And let's see whether the going through this way will make it go better. So I'm putting it the other way now and see when I get to the tie. Yes, that's better. So if you do that that way, uh, that should work. Okay, now it will have cut out the window completely on one side. Okay, I'm just gonna a tear, a tear and tape has just gone on the back of my card and made it a bit sticky. So you will have got out one. Uh, it's not cut all the way through as I thought it was going to do. Um, so I'm going to have to separate it out. I did the prototype with um, thinner card, so you're going to have to just position it. So that has cut into it, so I can see what I'm doing now. I'm going to put it back and make sure that this is absolutely in its place where the other one was. So I'm just going to put that in there and then I'm just going to run this through again. Oops, I do need my bottom plate on now, else that won't work at all. So put that in there, going through. That's it, that should cut it this time without any problems that's it okay so pull it out the other end so there we want to keep the window we don't want the window panes uh, so just put your window panes on one side but you need your window so just hold on to that for a bit I have then got to put it through again now because uh, it uh, let's get rid of some of the sticky off this because I've got a brand new piece, it's uh, sticking to my card. Okay, so I just have to be very careful now. Otherwise, this is going to tear my card because it's high tack. So, I'm going to put this back on the other side so I have already can see where that needs to go now. So, um, let's pop that in there and feel where the groove is so I'm feeling where that groove is getting that hooked in there and I can just put that through again so that uh, should go through there okay grab on that's it that's it and I'm just gonna bring that back the other way because I don't want it to crease my card. Okay, so that has done our other window bit. So look at the beautiful texture in that. I don't know whether you can see it on camera. It's giving it a really wood grained effect. So put that on one side. We'll need that back again in a minute. So, okay, I'm just gonna take that off my die. I'll put that on there for the moment. Right, we'll need the die cutting machine again later on, but let's uh, just pop it out of my way for now. So, first of all, what we're going to do is our card, we're going to put back in the W, and we will need to re-put the windows back in. Now, what I'm doing to do this is I'm going to put some acetate behind this, so I'm just rubbing off the uh, stickiness of the um, tape and I've got some acetate to stick in the back now my acetate measures uh, two and a half inches by um, two and seven eighths so I'm going to place this in the back of the card and it's just got to go 
back there like that so I'm going to glue this so I'm going to glue around because we want to make sure it's really glued well so I'm going to glue this around this part will hold it so we're going to put it along there go along here so that's it and then pop that on there don't slide it about once you've got it in position because just make sure it can fold you don't want the glue to be showing now i was going to use glue dots but uh, i've decided that this way will be the better way of doing it now we're going to do the same on the other side so i'm gonna just make sure i'm gluing all around the frame so we've got it and then this part will do well for holding it okay and then those don't move it about but make sure that your card will fold so we want it to be able to fold completely so just bend your card over whoops that's not uh, just make sure i've done it too close to the edge i didn't do my prototype that close to the edge add a little bit more room but just make sure that your acetate is right in that corner and that you can do that now on the front i just put that there that acetate is stuck there we go now we're going to put the windows back in so on your back of your frames we want to put some uh, glue on the back of the frame and then we're going to put that back okay so just got some glue strings so just going to get rid of my glue okay just pop that exactly back in to your window frame so make sure it's absolutely fitting in the right place I'm not sure that that one was that one so I'm going to pop it yeah that looks as though it's that one so just pop that back in and then I'll do the same with this one Normally, if you've got a rectangular window uh, one, which I have got a, a bigger rectangular one, uh, that you could just cut a rectangle out and it would be much easier than this that I'm working on. Right, uh, now, I haven't got any paper towel to absorb my glue. Um, just uh, should have thought about bringing some. okay so so then just make sure that it will fold so it's going to fold like that so just make sure it'll all fold that should be all right uh still that little bit seems to be funny at the top there okay but i think that'll be fine so that uh, that goes in like that now what we're going to do sorry about that it's because i've got the autofocus and i keep forgetting to switch it off now what we're going to do now is the window uh, shutters we're going to place the window shutters on either side now so we're uh, going to put those on there so just marrying them up with the window nicely and then the other side okay and just make sure you get the bottoms level with the window sills and then we've got these lovely little um i don't know what you call them uh brackets whatever they're called and we're going to stick these on as well so just evenly place these inches aren't they that's what they're called inches so we're gonna stick the red hinges on 
So this is uh, real red cardstock. Uh, that one there is uh, Sahara sand that I've done the um, the shutters in. So that's Sahara sand. There we go. That's shutter. And to do it a bit just like that. Okay, happy with that. And then we'll get these two at the bottom. So oops, that wasn't it. Nearly put them the wrong way. Uh, let's put, push those back to the edge and then this one here I'll just do a little bit further down try and match up on either side I think that's uh, about right Okay, so now um, I've also done the um, window uh, sills, so I'm going to put the window sills on as well. And that can go on the bottom there, like that. And then the other one at the other side. So again, Sahara sand that I've done these in. Okay. That's it. There, so that's so far. And now we want to go back to our uh, card base and uh, just crease down this ribbon. That's uh, the trim it looks on the trimmer top. And then I'm just uh, going to put the layers on. So we've got uh, a gold foil layer that I've put. And this is just an eighth of an inch smaller than the card. So this is four inches by five and six eighths. Now this will be my front. So... So uh, a tip for your gold foil, um, cut something out of it before you place it in like this and then uh, you um, won't use as much as your gold foil. Now uh, it's celebration time and uh, with every £45 you get level one uh, free. Um, so there's lots of freebies. Um, this is the ombre paper that I'm using that's free. Um, it's uh, this side that I'm coating is uh, Bermuda Bay the other side is Ricoco Rose and I'm using the Ricoco Rose so I've just got a nice border all the way round okay so I got this spray so now we're going to open up and we need to put our mechanism um, for holding our uh, cards um our plants in place so what i'm doing is i'm making sure that this is going to line up so that's going to be in the center and i've got a strip that is uh five eighths by i've wrote this down so let me go back to my strips um flower supports so uh we've got this one is the bigger one so five eighths by four and three quarters and scored at half an inch, two and three eighths and uh, four and a quarter. And again, you're going to do exactly the same. You're going to do it in the same shape, folding it up like that. OK, now to get this in position, we're going to flatten it out. I'm going to uh, put my glue on either side of my uh, where my one inch folds are. So they're going to go in there and there and to make sure it's in the right position 
I'm going to match up the score line with the score line of this. So the score line of your card, you're going to match up and get it, make sure it's straight and then just press those, those down. Now just, that moved, hang on, that moved. So I'm just going to press my, and every time I whittle it, it's moving about. Okay, so let me just position this again, making sure that there's going to be even gap all the way round, and that is not going to show below. So I'm going to have it like that. Then I've got another support piece. Oh, before I did that, sorry, I did need to do the... Um, the inside DSP for the shop so um, what I've done is just used a six by six and uh, the panels that we need for the end are just uh, three inches in width and then I've cut them at um, what did I say I'll just measure them for you where have they gone oh they're here on aren't they so these are three inches and then I've cut them at um, three and fifteen sixteenths. Now we're not going to put these on yet, so just leave those to one side. But what I cut off the top, I am now using for inside uh, the shop. So I uh, forgot to, I've just got just good job i remembered uh because i needed to put this on first before i fasten those on and i forgot so again what i'm going to do is position my shop and this wants to go behind it so i'm going to make sure that that's level like that that'd be fine uh and then this one the same this is just the backdrop for the shop then and so we can now match that that up there so I think that's it uh, that's fine now yeah that, in fact I'm going to turn it the other way around so that we've got the color tones going okay the same way so that the ombre effect is coming in the middle so uh, that looks about right let me just make sure that that's not going to do a... i thought it was uh off the internet looks as though it's dropping up it's not going to make a mess right okay so we've got those going back to these pieces again now so sorry about that and now because we've got that there we've got an automatic guide now we can see we need to put these within that so again i'm just going to make sure that that is um on that center there and press those down and then we're going to do the same, um, just in case I didn't tell you the size of this one. Uh, this one again is uh, 5 8 um, by 3 and 1 8, scored at half, 1 and a half, and 2 and an eighth. And I don't want this too much higher, so let me just, where's my prototype gone? How much? I didn't put it too high, so about there where I've got it. So we don't want this one going too high. So I'm going to put those on there. Uh, so probably, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll measure that in a minute to see about the distance I've put those. But they, so that then should just fold up like that. We should be all right so that just needs to set a little while let's just make sure it's got that okay so now we're going to put uh, the frame on so uh, just 
completely cover the outer two panels. So we want these outer two panels gluing. And let's do the other side, put it down at the same time. So you could really do this with any window set, as I say, any punch uh, that you've got, uh, this would be suitable for. So again, I'm making sure that I'm lining my centre up. I'm lining my centre up there and then just going to place that on either side like that. So that's how it should go. There we go. So that part um, for now, so that will be how it looks so far. Just going to leave those two dry a minute. Um, we're going to concentrate on the DSP that goes on here now. So uh, this is going to be the brick wall of the outside of the shop. So in the set is a brick die, uh, not a die, a, um, what have I done with my stamping block? Let's get another one out. Okay, so just going to use the brick one and I'm just going to randomly place this brick on and I forgot to get out my... Uh, So because it's a uh, blushing bride, I'm going to do tone on tone. So this is uh, blushing bride and uh, I'm just going to look to see how deep. No, I think that would be perfect. So I'm just going to ink up and I'm just going to stamp randomly. Whoa. on my wall I think that could have done with um, having a bit more of a uh, colour I think uh, it would have been better if I had a double stamped on them but uh, can't do that now because I've not got my uh, my actual um, stamping platform out so it will be fine um, so it's just to give it a random wall effect I might have put some up in there so just just randomly however you like it doesn't really matter and then we're going to put bring these back in and I'm going to glue these over here so that's going to be going on here yeah. you could uh, do an added layer like I've done for the front if you wanted to um, I've not chosen to do that whether I'd have liked it better I don't know but just get an evil, equal distance between it and the same on the other side hello are you all right Valerie and then equal distance on that side right now uh, that's our part of our um, shop front apart from the name going across the top but i'm going to insert the flower pots inside first so just going to leave that on one side and uh, we're going to i've just got scraps of card that's all all i've got so you just want something that's uh, big enough to do the flowers now um something that i was not sure about yesterday when looking at these 
is I don't know whether you'll be able to see um, like here that's got a uh, there we go it's better on that side that says 1b and this is pointing to this flower and then that's saying 1a and then this is saying 2b and uh, this one I think it's the other way around. This is 1B and this goes to 1A. And this one is uh, 2A going to 2B. Now, I didn't realise that because I had a go at stamping and I thought this is not working out quite in the spots. But then when I saw these little things, I realised that the two went together and then I sorted it out. So that's great. OK, now... Uh, just going to clean off my brick wall so get rid of my uh, my blushing bride and also close it up okay that's still got the bit on it okay so I'm going to take off my brick wall and uh, pop it back so it's out of my way and I have got my um, sprig of flowers so what i'm going to do is i've got stamping right markers and i'm just going to use garden green and just uh like the look of the card lovely thank you it's something i um i like doing these type of cards um that kind of have windows or uh doing them but normally you you have to either use a big punch or you've got to have a big die cutting machine and if you're just starting off you won't have got a um, big die cutting machine uh, I invested I don't know about you Valerie but I invested first in a mini die cutting machines because the big ones are very expensive and if you're not really sure about the hobby uh, I think really to get one that's costing over £100 it's um, not good to start off uh, in case you don't like it. So I'm just, uh, as I say, using my Stamping Right marker. You see that I'm using the side of them. Uh, so this is instead of using an ink pad. Uh, I haven't got this colour in an ink pad so I'm just rubbing the side all across my die uh, stamp I mean not die so uh, oh lovely so but they're they're excellent um, I made my brother uh, for his birthday last year I made a mail shop window so uh, and it's um, had like um, your um, ties and um, shoes and I can't remember what else was in the window, but I had something like that. Right, so I only need to, uh, so just going to um, clean off my stamp. So then we're going to go back in because I'm going to put this back and this says um, the ones. So it means that it goes with, so that's that one there, it goes with this one, which I didn't realise yesterday. And I'm going to use yellow, uh, so I've got a daffodil, no it's not, it's crushed curry in fact. So I thought it was like a daffodil delight, but it's not, it's crushed curry. So I'm just again using the sides of my pen, making sure that I've... Well coated it, just hold it up to make sure that I've got plenty of the ink. I just love these stamping right markers because it's a way of getting more inks without spending an astronomical amount on all the inks. So I'm just positioning those now in the holes. So the three go in the holes and two will go outside. So... Um, it doesn't matter if they're not quite, no flowers uh, look perfect, so it doesn't matter if you don't get them exact. 
because flowers are not rearranged really in nature when you uh, when you buy a plant it's not perfection all over so okay and it's a bit more difficult when you're doing it on the top and I'm not sat down to do it so that's fine okay and uh, I want the plant pot so um, first of all I'm going to cut these out to see how much room I've got so there's two dies to cut them out uh, different shapes because they're different uh, flower formations so I'm going to run these this through so I'm going to bring back my mini now and put it on my stamp so uh, you can just see the uh, the edge of the flowers how it dips down you can see where to put it so I'm just going to turn my board over keep turning your plates uh, here's the best thing to do right so I'm going to swing my die around uh, I think that's got it about right so I'm just going to pop that on there and I can pop my plate on top and through it goes okay there we go so have you um you said you've got window dies have you got something that's got kind of the shutters uh, yes I do exactly Valerie that's why um I, I love uh, getting out the mini um, I choose to get out the mini more than I do get out my big one obviously sometimes you've got to get your big one out but um, I do all the time I'm getting uh, the mini out it's just great so just again let's place this okay pop that to the side i much rather um, work with the mini and that's why I've devised this window card using the mini uh, because to say if you, if you can't uh, afford you're only just starting off and you've got the mini machine you can do a lot so that's my second one now uh, I'm going to see how much room I've got on this piece it's tore on that side so uh, no shutters well i i didn't have shutters in fact the one that i've got um i don't know whether they're called pretty dies or something uh can't remember and it's it's a rectangular window frame with kind of a windowsill on it but it's designed it's got a um back um so i did that with just shading that and I put those away because I want this colour next. Um, it's got a home scene, a home fire. Uh, oh, so snap. You've got this. Is that right? Is that what you've got? I got that from Aldi's. So uh, the only I don't know whether you've tried and I keep meaning to look up whether you can get more plates for it uh, because my plates I've used and used and used them and uh, but yeah I've, I uh, I did buy that and I really liked it because the original mini that I very first bought when I started crafting uh, was a cut and die and uh, the cut and die has um, smaller plates narrower plates and uh, oh that was brilliant i didn't get it that cheap oh uh, you got did you get it when uh, it went down in price in the sale i guess that's uh, really good price i didn't get it that cheap at aldis I think they were originally on for about £20, if I remember. Um, not sure what that would be in your, your Euros. Yes, um, I thought it was on sale because, say, uh, 
English it was about uh, 20 pounds uh, don't know whether you can hear my son shouting he's playing a game um, he's making a right racket upstairs I don't know whether you can hear him <laughs> right so let's get that one there and can we get one there? Yeah, it looks as though we can get one there as well. So let me just uh, colour this in. So uh, one was just jade and this must be shaded spruce. I've just done the two different. No, it wasn't. Was it garden green? It was No, it was garden green. So is this just jade? No, this is shaded spruce. So I was right with that. I think the other one was garden green, I think. Okay, and let's place that. It doesn't matter which way we place it. Uh, just make sure that it will get all the bits. Before I do any more, I'm just going to make sure that... Um, I'm not going to go off the edge with this one, uh, whether it'll be all right. Uh, where are we? Is it that way? It's trouble with these sometimes. You just uh, don't know which way round the dies go. I think it became more apparent when the flowers were on. I'll have to look at that again. Uh, right, so um, I've done cherry cobbler with this one. So let's make sure that uh, we get the right flowers. These are the right ones. So I'm just going to clean that up. So have you got a chamois or anything to clean your uh, stamps up, Valerie? <laughs> Could you hear him? <laughs> I'll have to tell him about that. Oh, he's, he gets excited when he's playing these games. He's not a young child, he's a man. <laughs> uh, right, so put that in there for the moment and put this on. So this is Cherry Cobbler. So it's a, a deeper red, this. Uh, Just get carried away. They do get carried away, don't they? Okay, and then match these up. How did I match these up? Was it like that? Yeah. I think it's like that. Just double check. No, it's like that. You have to twist and turn to see how it it does it. Uh, but the uh, nice flower sprigs. Quite like that you've got the two-tone. You've not got to fight with a stamp. I mean, that's what stamping right markers are, are brilliant for. If you've got, uh, if this came as all one uh, stamp, then you can just colour uh, certain parts of your stamp with certain colours so that uh, you can... That's it. Hopefully now I can see which way that the die needs to fit on now. There we go. You see, you can see more now. Now the flowers are in position. I can see which way the knife fits, which is always a good thing. Oh, I didn't put my pin in my glue. Uh, where's my plates gone? Uh, I don't buy my stamps. So pop this back on. That plate, and then pop that back in. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, how lovely. When did you lose your mum, Valerie? A while back. I lost my mum uh, a couple of years ago now. Uh, it's really hard, isn't it? Uh, just totally unexpected. It was, uh, in fact, I found her dead, so that was a real shock. Uh, uh. Oh, my daughter was born in nineteen ninety two. So, bet you'd be uh, only in your 20s then, would you, Valerie? Or younger than that, even? All right. Uh, so, cut that out. Okay. So that's those two. And now we just need to do some uh, plants, pots. So seem to be, this is too sticky and it's ripping my card a bit. Okay, so I need, um, where are we with the plants? So I'm going to use all three plant pots, but I'm going to use one twice as well. So, um, I just did Cajun craze for these because it's a brownie colour. Cajun uh, craze. Yes, Cajun craze. So and it's uh, a nice. Gives a quite uh, effect on the plant pot. Uh, make sure and well, that's a wide one I should have it that way I think I'll have it that way there we go gives it a bit of in and out of colour and so that's the fatter one then I want uh, perhaps I should have done the big one there I've got a Big one. There's lots of stamp sets with plant pots in. So that's it. It gives it automatic shade in it does so pop this one here and then clean that off so i, I was uh, saying have you got a, a chamois that you clean your stamps with oh uh, i've got uh, the chamois for um the photopolymer stamps and i've got a, a stamp and scrub for my uh, rubber stamps uh, okay so I'm going to stamp this one twice now uh, on there and then another sticky off my card before I stamp this one that's it and then I can just uh, wipe that off okay so now I'm just going to cut those out so back to my cutting so I'll just add other scraps of cards in case that was not enough yeah, place this down and we can probably cut three out oh no we can cut all four out all at once because um, it gave you in the set it gave you two little ones so uh, hopefully 
get them side by side without them going on. So I'm going to rip my, uh, yes they do, they really do. I used to use um, wet wipes before I got my uh, chamois because uh, that's another thing that you can use. Let's put the big one on. And, oops, to go over there so I can put this one on. Uh, there, hopefully. Oh, that was no good. It, it uh, came straight off. There we go. A small clip. Oh, did you? Oh, so so you can buy um, new plates for your um, so um, crafty die cutting machine, or have I misinterpreted you? Is that what you meant? So there's number one plant pot, number two, number three, number four. Okay, so I'm just going to pull those back over there and move that out of my way. Right, so all we've got to do now is stick uh, the flowers. So uh, these bigger ones uh, that drape down... I'm going to stick these on the bigger plant pot like that. So go lift it up as much as I can. And then this this big one as well. I'm stick that going on there as well right and then the littler ones these have to go rather than sticking them like this or like that whichever way you want them to these have to be stuck going upwards because there isn't enough room for them to be stuck the other way so they have to go upwards like that and then this one as well. Oh, uh, which way round? Let's have a look. That way round. Stick this one on there. Okay. Now I think I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to uh, rip off some paper, and just for added uh, strength, I'm just going to pop a little bit of paper on the back going from the plant pot to the actual uh, flowers just to give that added strength of it being stuck together because it's only that little bit that's sticking it together I'm just going to give it a bit of a bandage you won't see that at all it would be impossible to see those um, but it will just give that little bit more security of it being stuck together yeah I think that's okay so I'm just it's just photocopy of paper really and I've even st stamped it's just some remnants that I've cut off when I've been using something else but it will just just give it that little bit more strength uh, because there's not much of the um, plant pot sticking on the flowers. Uh, uh, there we go. I'll just give it. So there are our plant pots. And uh, now I think I'm going to use uh, glue dots. So just make sure that now it's fully dry that you 
redo your creases so and now I'm going to put um, I think I'm going to use glue dots and hope for the best there's my pin so I'm gonna stick in fact I've got the small ones out but actually I think I could use the bigger ones looking at the area so So in we go and I'm going to start with the bottom ones so I'm going to put, that's the end, I'm going to put it about half way on the plant part around that area and I'm just going to tuck it inside for the bottom one and sort of See whereabouts. You don't want it to go over the edge, so don't allow it to go over the middle. Oh, actually, now I think this one might be all right. I'll see. I won't push it down. I'm just going to leave it loose um, so that I can peel it off and you remit. Put it in a different place if I don't want it there. So I'm going to get the second one now. And then position that. Uh, let's see. So let's see if that, yeah, that works. And you can see... Uh, sorry, you can see the flowers in the window now of the shop and do the same with the bigger one, the taller one, should I say. Uh, so, I don't know whereabouts the plant pot's going to fall on this, so I'm going to stick it on the top of my bandage and... I've got to get down for this one because I've got to see that it doesn't go. I don't want it to go over the top. That's looking good. So that's in the right position, I think. And then get the next one. So that worked. Me putting it around there. that off and then again that's not gone I need it to go a bit lower because the um, I'm just going to have to make sort that out later I've just got a tiny bit of the um, sticky going let's see if I can just move it yes so uh, so the shop window you can see in the shop window now that uh, you've got your flowers and uh, now I'm going to personalize it um, the person who it's going to be for I'm going to name the shop after them. So I'm going to uh, hopefully this will work now. Um, the other suggestion I've got for this is that um, you can um, double layer it. So I might do this to give it added strength. So I might get some um, paper ones and uh, I will put those at the back okay uh, this is where I uh, not done this right I think I just think I uh, I'll see how I go see if it works out for me
Oh, that's wrong as well, isn't it? Do spell right. Advantage if you can spell. Where's my A gone now? Oh, it's stuck to me. There we just. Apparently, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Around just it that side at the bottom. And then okay, so that's the name part there and then this is the tricky part now because um oops don't lose your s because these i think i had to do them around got to get that really close otherwise they're not going to fit on so kind of did them go in in an arc oh, good job that didn't drop the way of there The faster I get them on, better, in case I've got to alter them before my glue starts to dry. Can reposition them. Oh, it might fit straight. Didn't on the practice one. So I'll have to see. Oh yeah, it's needing to come in a little bit. Right. Now I've got to position these so... fit there and that gonna one way round if I put glue or I put glue on the right place. Right now is that is that gonna catch now? Ooh, I think I just get away with that. So uh, that's the name of the shop, Diane's Flowers. Uh, I was going to arch Diane a bit more, I think, but that'll be dry now. So I've shot it there. Oh, he's still got a little bit of wiggle room. Push them along a little bit. That R and that S. Um. Right. They might hold. They might hold fine. 
yeah so i think think that's it so then uh you could put um your verse um on here uh so that folds up i uh, because it's been so long in in making this i'll go away and uh finish my verse and decorate my front and then i will take a picture but um hope you liked that it's as i say uh, a way of being able to use your mini machine and i did really designed it uh round the smaller plates of the uh, so crafty i know that it will fit easily on uh, our mini um but i uh, hope you liked that thank you very much for watching thank you for uh, chatting with me uh, yeah, yeah, it's, um, are they cut and something? There's a make called cut and something and uh, it's a lovely uh, font, isn't it? I, I like it. So it's not stamping up, it's um, uh, cut and whatever it's called. Uh, so, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, thank you for being with me and uh, I'll be back another day with more crafting. Thank you. Bye.